Right, welcome back to another On Base Baseball video. My name is Brian Haffercamp, and I am the designer and creator of On Base Baseball. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, this is a new tabletop baseball game. I know about every four months I come out with something new, but I'm really excited about this one. This is an idea that I've just had in my head for a long time uh, that I finally uh, put to paper and sort of fleshed out a little bit. Got some... Uh, gamers who are playtesting it right now, uh, which is pretty cool, and so they're giving their feedback. This is actually probably uh, version 2 or 3, at least version 2. And what it is, is called Yaya Tabletop Baseball. And uh, Yaya Baseball be a easy way to talk about it. And uh, that's just taken from the fact that um, it uses... Uh, a similar mechanism game mechanism as Yahtzee so we're gonna be rolling uh, five six-sided die dice <clears throat> so if you uh, if you have those great uh, if you want to use an online roller like I have here then that will work as well what I like about this is it allows you to sort of hold um, you can hold them just like you do in Yahtzee and then roll uh, the ones that you're not holding so that's a uh, a nice little feature of the online game, but obviously you can do that uh, when you're rolling real dice on the tabletop as well. Here's our main chart uh, for the game. And <clears throat> what you do is you roll once, um, all five dice, and then you just you look and find whatever your result was. So if it's a three of a kind with uh, three ones, then that's going to be a single to left field. If it's a four of a kind with four ones, that's a double to left. <clears throat> if it's four of a kind with four twos, it's a double to center field. And then there's a plus one, which down here at the bottom, it talks a little bit about our symbols. So we have a plus, we have a plus one, and we have a, a hashtag. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, the plus one means that all the runners get an extra base. So normally on a double, you would advance all runners the same amount as the hit, right? So the batter gets two bases, everybody else gets two bases, but when there's a plus one, uh, you get an extra base if you're a runner that's already on base. Uh, there's some other sort of special plays over here, a double with an error on the right fielder. Um, still working out uh, the full house. There's obviously a lot of opportunities here uh, to kind of work in game situations and things like that, but essentially if you roll full house, that's going to be a double. Uh, a small straight is going to be a strikeout. Um, if you have a particular kind of small straight, so you start with a two or you start with a three, um, you get a chance to roll the one extra die. So you have four that make the small straight and then the one stray dice or a die that doesn't it doesn't lead to anything. <laughs> so you pick it up and you roll again with an opportunity to hit a home run. So you're sort of taking a big swing at it. Uh, if you wind up with a large straight, that's going to be a home run. If not, it'll be a strikeout. So it's kind of an all or nothing swing, which is kind of a cool little uh, part of it there. You, we have double play attempts. Um, anytime grounders are hit to um, infielders and there's an opportunity for a double play or a force out. Uh, you roll for the double play. Uh, we also have error checks. Like I said, there's there are a few errors on here as we go along. Uh, and then down here it says uh, for the hashtag, which you see occasionally just sort of sprinkled through. There's one here. Um, that is a play where the lead runner gets caught in a rundown. And then you got to uh, go to the rundown chart and figure out what's going on with that. And let me cover the last part here. So if your first, first roll does not, uh, the result does, isn't found up here in the, in these charts, uh, then you go to the chance. So if you ever played Yahtzee, you know that there's a, a chance roll, right? Where it doesn't fit in anything. Um, and you can just add all of the dice, the dice together and then come up with a number. And then that's your number that you get for that roll. Um, <clears throat> For us, that's going to be basically our outs roll. So if it doesn't fit into one of these, uh, three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind, full house, small straight, large straight, but it's not one of those, then we're just going to add up the numbers and then whatever it adds up to, that's going to give us an outcome. So it could be a strikeout, uh, 
typically this is going to be a not good play for the batter, except there is an error on here. Uh, there's a drop third strike and safe at first. There's a hit by pitch. So it's a little bit of a mixture. There's a walk in there too. So it's not all outs necessarily. So I don't really want to call it an out, an out chart. Um, I just, I'm just going to stick with chance because that's uh, what the, what Yahtzee uses. And so that's what I'm just going to stick with that. Um, I printed it on the back side. Obviously you could print it anywhere that you want to or any way that you want to. But this is a second page. It's called the Advanced Play Guide. And what the Advanced Play Guide does is, is it, it sets up the base running plays. So whether you want to, um, whether you have to uh, do a base running play, so like if someone gets caught in a rundown, uh, you're going to have to use this. Or if you want to do a hit and run, or you want to take extra bases or tag up, we have stealing second and third and home. We have squeeze plays. Um, and essentially, uh, this is an extra roll. So let's say, uh, there's a fly ball, fly ball to, to left field, right? You got a runner at third base. You want to tag up, um, you're going to roll again. So you've rolled once to find the fly ball, right? And where it goes, you're going to roll all five dice again. And then if, uh, if it's one of these, um, particular plays, so if it's a two of a kind, three, four of a kind, if it's a full house, small straight or large straight, you're going to get the outcome right here. And then you're just going to do whatever it says. So for a four of a kind, the lead runner is safe, but they threw out the trail runner. Uh, if there is no trail runner, then the lead runner is just safe, right? If It's only a guy at third base and that's it. Uh, but if there's a guy at third and there's a runner at first, uh, the lead runner is safe at home. The trail runner going to second base is out. So uh, you just follow along with whatever um, whatever it says here. Uh, if it's not listed here, then that means that the lead runner is out and nobody else advances. So um, <clears throat> same thing with steel. Same thing with all of these. If if when you roll all five dice, the outcome is not on this sheet, like if it's not in this section. Uh, for whatever you're doing, then the batter's out. Or uh, on the case of a squeeze play, um, it would be the runner is out at home and the batter is still up to bat. So uh, basically you've tried to squeeze, it didn't work, got the guy thrown <laughs> out at home. Uh, if it's not the third out of the inning, then he stands in and you roll his at bat again. Uh, for a hit and run, uh, these are only used for a strikeout. So obviously, if the player hits the ball, um, if they hit the ball in the air, the guy's going to go back to first base. If it's hit on the ground, uh, the runner's going to be safe at second. Uh, so there's no, that's why you hit and run, right? So you stay out of the double play. Uh, so really, if, if the result of the pitch is a strikeout, then you're going to consult this and see what happens uh, with the steal. Uh, that's what we're looking for. And taking extra bases, uh, whenever you have successfully hit the ball, uh, if you want to take third, if you want to go from second to home, <clears throat> then you can roll against uh, these uh, outcomes here. And uh, if you do want to steal home, there's a couple of opportunities uh, to steal home. Um, four of a kind and a large straight. So it's pretty small uh, as far as your opportunity, but there is a possibility of stealing home. So that's the, the sort of the basics of the game. Um, and there's lots of different sort of variations and, and things that come up in the game and just kind of got to play it and figure it out uh, in some ways, I guess it's like most games. Um, but as far as the mechanics are concerned, you're rolling once, you're getting the outcome. And only if it says something like a uh, roll once for something else, right? You can roll one die for a home run to see if you get the home run. Here, you, it, it's a double, but you can roll. Uh, so you have a four of a kind and you can roll the one, the one die that's not one of the four of a kind. You can roll that one die to see if you hit the triple instead of just a double, right? So <clears throat> uh, it, it makes some logical sense. It's not one-to-one, -one, just like Yahtzee, where you get two or three cracks at everything. Uh, but working on some, um, 
right now all of these players are not differentiated <laughs> they're all the same and uh, they have the same opportunities uh, to get a hit and et cetera, et cetera. And that's uh, just something I'm working with the testers on to see if maybe we can work in. Uh, how can we make sure that individual players, especially the good players, are accounted for? Because uh, right now everyone has the same opportunity uh, to get a hit or to make an out. All right, I'm going to play this game. And uh, it's not not too slow it actually goes pretty quickly um, depending on how many base running sort of situations there are uh, we have the Blue Jays uh, this is the 93 Blue Jays at the 93 Mariners so Devon White Robbie Alomar Paul Molitor Joe Carter Darren Jackson Domingo Martinez at first uh, Ed Sprague Pat Borders and Dick Schofield as shortstop for the Mariners it's uh, Vizquel Mike Felder in left, Griffey in center, Tino Martinez at first, Pete O'Brien is the DH, Jay Buhner in right, Mike Blowers at third, uh, Dave Vale, Valley, Vale, I think is how it is, Bali, uh, and Rich Amaral is the catcher. Um, all right, so this is the 93 Blue Jays at the Mariners, top of the first inning, and we're going to roll. Let's get a little sound in here, maybe. Just uh, get the roll of the dice, right? Yeah. So we start off here. We have uh, <clears throat> two fours, two threes. There's nothing there. Uh, nothing that we can uh, get a hit off of. It, it requires at least a three of a kind uh, to get a hit. And so uh, between we have 10, 17, 20. A 20 is going to be a ground out to first base. So we're going to go 3-1 on the put out and that'll be out number one so white grounds out to the first baseman martinez uh second roll uh again nothing so it's 10 11 17 17 is a grounder to the second baseman molitor is up that's going to be three ones three ones is a single to left so base knock from paul molitor and we got three sixes here. Three sixes is going to be a walk. And that's a walk to Darren Jackson. So two quick outs and then a couple runners on here. Against, uh, it's going to be Jack Morris against Randy Johnson. So Johnson is is pitching now against the Blue Jays. So good pitching matchup. <clears throat> uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be a small straight. And a small straight here, one, two, three, four is going to be a strikeout. Um, so that's where the inning ends. And you notice we don't, on that particular one, we don't roll for another, for a hit. Okay, so it's only on the 2, 3, 4, 5, or the 3, 4, 5, 6. So no runs on one hit. Go to the bottom of the uh, first inning, and the Mariners are up against Jack Morris. Omar Vizquel is batting first, so 3-4, nothing there, so 10-17-20, again, grounder to first base, and Martinez flips it to the pitcher. Let's see, 3-4-5, so 11-14-15 and 21, 21 is going to be a strikeout swinging, so Morris gets his first K of the day. Two down, and Griffey Jr. is to the plate. Uh, four, five, six, nothing there. So 10, 16, 20, and that's going to be another grounder to first base. So still working out the percentages here, and uh, there's grounders enough to go around to everybody, but we want to make sure that they're nice and evened out like they would be. Uh, so the game is still a little bit of a work in progress, trying to work in, like I said, individual uh, player mm, contribution, I guess is the best way to say it, differentiation. There's a three ones. That's going to be a knock. Base hit to left field. And that's for Domingo Martinez, first baseman. Uh, two, three, four. <clears throat> Nothing going there. So four, ten, seventeen is going to be a ground ball to... Uh, 
to the second baseman. Okay, so we're going to work our double play attempt here. So there's nobody out, runner at first base, ground ball to the second baseman, and now we're going to roll against the double play attempt here. All it requires is a two of a kind, uh, which is what we have. And so that's going to be a successful double play. So it's going to go four, six, three on the double play. And one out, two outs. So two outs in the inning. Uh, Pat Borders stands in. Three, four, five, six. That's going to be a small straight. And it's right here. Uh, it's a strikeout. But we get to roll the die here to see if we get the home run. So let's see what happens. So we need a two to hit a home run. Don't get the two, so that's gonna be a strikeout. Takes a big cut and comes up empty for the third out of the inning. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Bottom of the second we go and it's gonna be uh, Tino Martinez, Pete O'Brien, and Jay Buhner to the plate. So six. 10, 16, 16 is going to be a grounder to the shortstop. It's going to be out number one as uh, Dick Schofield puts him away. There's three twos. That's going to be a base knock to center field for Pete O'Brien as he gets on with one out. Runner at first base, one out, and Jay Buhner to the plate. One, two, three, four. So we got our small straight, and that's going to be a strikeout. Remember, because it starts with a one. <clears throat> it might make more sense to uh, make all of these roll for a home run. We'll have to just see how that works out. Uh, three, four, five, nothing there. So five, ten, and seventeen is going to be the grounder to second base. We'll go four, three on that, and that's going to be the third out of the inning. So no runs on one hit. Go the Mariners in the second. Go to the top of the third, still scoreless. Uh, between the 93 Blue Jays and the 93 Mariners. Uh, nothing happening here. So 10, 12, 14. 14 is going to be a fly out to center field. <clears throat> Dead center. Griffey puts it away. And that's going to be out number one in the inning. Back to the top of the order. It's Devon White. And that's going to be a full house. So a full house. Uh, twos over ones. That's going to be... A double down the left field line so white reaches out puts it down the line and that's going to be a runner at second base now with one out for robbie alomar uh nothing here six eight nine fourteen sixteen sixteen is going to be a grounder to the shortstop going to hold at second base looks him back and it's going to be two down paul molitor to the plate with a runner at second base uh, Devon White is it for or second base. Uh, we have three threes here. Three threes. It's going to be a single to right field. So Molitor delivers, goes the other way. And that's going to be the first RBI of the game. Oh, actually, we should run. Uh, we don't get that automatically. Let's go ahead and uh, do the taking the extra base. So show that. <clears throat> so uh, for a two of a kind, it's going to be a lead runner, say three of a kind, four of a kind. Uh, full house, um, none of these really matter necessarily. So uh, any of these is going to score the run from second base. Remember, so a base hit, he gets third base, and we're going to try to score him from second. We got a pair of sixes, and that's definitely going to score the run. So Molitor comes home on the base hit. I mean, uh, Devon White comes home on the base knock from Molitor, and the Blue Jays go up 1-0. We are in the top of the third inning. one nothing now, Toronto over uh, the 93 Blue Jays over the 93 Mariners. <clears throat> that's another full house. Uh, threes over fours, and that's going to be a double to left center. So Darren Jackson, I mean uh, Joe Carter, rips that one into the gap. And it's going to be a double. So that sends Molitor to third. Uh, let's go ahead and send him home. Got a pair of ones there, and so he makes it home. And he scores on the double. That's going to be 2 nothing now. Um, 
Blue Jays over the Mariners. And three, four, five, six. That's a small straight, and we get a chance to swing for the fences here. Oh, just missed it. <clears throat> Needed a two there. Uh, so that's going to be a strikeout. And that'll be out number three in the inning as Johnson gets touched up a little bit uh, for two runs on one, two, three hits. And the Blue Jays take a 2 nothing lead. So Jack Morris back to the bump against the bottom of the order. It's uh, Dave Vale, uh, Rich Amaral, and Omar Vizquel back to the top. Two, three, four, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's a small straight, uh, but it doesn't matter, right? Because our one, two, three, four is going to be a strikeout. So <clears throat> be out number one. Uh, Amaral, second base. Uh, second baseman is up to the plate. So it's going to be a pair of fours, pair of fives. Which gets you a lot of nothing. So 10, 15, 20, 24. 24 is going to be a strikeout looking. So back to back K's for Jack Morris. Two outs in the inning. We'll go back to the top of the order with Omar Vizquel. Three, four, five, six. And that's going to be good for an extra roll. So let's see if Omar can take him deep. And he does. Pulls out the two. Two, three, four, five, six. That's not right. We had nothing there, didn't we? <laughs> uh, I got excited about Omar Vizquel hitting a home run. Uh, so let's go ahead and just give him... What are we going to give him there? Uh, maybe I rolled the wrong one. I can't tell. All right, let's start his at-bat over again because I just messed that all up. Uh, so one, two, three, and he gets nothing. So six, eight, ten, thirteen. And so whatever he was going to get, he doesn't get anymore. Yeah, so that's going to be a third out of the inning. Sorry, Omar. Um, one, two, three. Go the Mariners in the bottom of the third. The down two nothing is to go to the top of the fourth against the 93 Blue Jays. So here's Domingo Martinez. Martinez singled his last time up. And he's going to get another base knock here. That's straight up the middle. So he's two for two on the day. Brings up Ed Sprague, third baseman for the Jays. <clears throat> Not much going on here, so that's 8, 9, 15, 20. 20 is a grounder to uh, the first baseman, and so let's go ahead and do a double play check here. No double play, so we're going to go 3, 1 on the put out. Uh, let's go, uh, sorry, 3, 6, and we're going to, he's going to make it there. So I always like to, to assume the out at second base, so not at first. So I got three six on the put out. Can't make the can't can't make the turn at second. And it's gonna be one down with uh Ed Sprague at first base. Pat borders to the plate. Uh it's 12, 13, 15, 19. 19 is a grounder to the third baseman. You can see here a G5. So let's go ahead and roll for a double play again. One, two, three, four. Uh, no four of a kind, no three of a kind, so nothing happening there. Um, that's going to be another fielder's choice. We're going to go uh, five, four on the fielder's choice. That should be one there. That should be two there. Okay. So I keep trying to turn that double play, but they can't get it around. And it's going to be Dick Schofield to the plate. One, two, three, four. And that'll be a strikeout on Schofield. So Randy Johnson gets the big K to end the inning and Blue Jays come up empty. No runs on one hit. They still lead 2 nothing as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. And the Mariners have the top of the order up. Mike Felder, King Griffey Jr., and Tino Martinez. Three, four, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got an opportunity here. So two, three, four, five. And we're going to roll one to see if we hit the home run. Can't get that one, and so that's going to be a strikeout. And Griffey is up. That's three ones. That's going to be a solid poke to left. And Griffey is on with his first hit of the day. 
<clears throat> uh, there's a three, four, five, nothing there. Six, seven, ten, fourteen. Fourteen is going to be a fly out to center field. Griffey's going to stay. And let's go ahead and try to steal with Griffey, uh, the stealing mechanism. Very similar to the tag up. And so stealing second or third, let's see what we wind up with here. Uh, so we get two pair. Um, nothing else, but two pair is enough. Lead runner is safe. And all the other runners hold, so that's going to be a steal for Griffey. So he's still second base. And it's going to put Pete O'Brien to the plate. He's a pinch hitter. <clears throat> that's a fours over two full house let's see double down the right field line so pete o'brien brings home griffey with the double and that puts the mariners on the board in the fourth inning so rbi double from pete o'brien and that cuts the lead to, to two to one uh one two three four five and look at that Jay Buhner, the Bune dog, going deep for a two-run shot. And that's going to be a home run for Buhner. That's a two-run bomb as he takes Jack Morris deep. So three to two now uh, as the Mariners storm back in the bottom of the fourth inning. <clears throat> Got a four of a kind here. Very rare. So four fours is going to be a double uh, with all the runners taking an extra base. Doesn't matter here because there's nobody on base. Buner took care of that. And uh, Morris is really on the ropes here, having a hard time. A one, two, three, and that's going to be a strikeout as he gets out number three. So all of the scoring there with uh, almost all of it with two outs, wasn't it? Uh, but the Mariners get one, two, three runs on one two three four hits so really banging jack morris around there that inning and we got a good one here it's three to two uh 93 mariners over the 93 blue jays as we go to the fifth inning it'll be the back to the top of the order with uh, devon white robbie alomar and paul molitor <clears throat> Nothing doing here, so we got 10, 12, 14. 14 is going to be a fly out to center. So it goes F8 on the put out. That's out number one. It'll be Robbie Alomar to the plate. And there's three ones. That's going to be a single to left field for Alomar. And he's on first. Let's go ahead and try to steal with Robbie Alomar. One, two, three, four, five. What do we have with uh, a large straight? What happens? on a steal. So on a large straight, there's an error on the throw. All runners advance two bases. So it's going to go one, two. Uh, that's not right. That means he comes home two bases. So we get the stolen base and he scores on an error. And that's going to be a, a big time play is that that can't be right. He's got to go to third, right? Yeah, it should be advance one base. No, we'll leave it as it is. Advances two bases. Why not? I've never seen anybody do that before, but you never know. Maybe it went really haywire. The guy fell down in center field, too. I don't know. Uh, so Paul Molitor to the plate now. Molitor with nobody on and one out. Uh, already one in for the Blue Jays. There's a three, four, five, six. That's going to be a small straight. So we're going to roll one with an opportunity for a home run from Paul Molitor. Three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Almost. Needed a two, got a one. And so instead of a home run, that's going to be a strikeout for Molitor. That's out number two. Uh, Joe Carter to the plate now. He would be a World Series hero at the end of this season. So there's going to be 10, 14, 19. 19 is a grounder, sharp grounder to third. And Carter's going to be out by a step and a half. And that'll end the inning. So one run on one hit for the Blue Jays. And they tie it all up at three as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Mariners will have uh, 
ninth place hitter Rich Amaral, uh, Omar Vizquel, and Mike Felder coming to the plates. One, two, three, four. That's going to be a strikeout. So one out in the inning, and uh, we're in the top of the fifth here. <clears throat> Omar Vizquel back to the plates. One, two, three. Uh, nothing there. So it's going to be 7, 10, 13, 13. It's going to be a fly ball to left. Yeah, it's two down. And we have twos. One, two, three. Not anything going on here. So it's four, five, 10, 13, 13. Another fly ball to left field. And that's a can of corn. And that's going to end the inning as we go to the <clears throat> top of the sixth inning, all tied up. No runs or no hits for the Mariners in the bottom of the fifth. And we go to uh, sort of the middle bottom of the order. It's going to be Darren Jackson, uh, Domingo Martinez, and Ed Sprague to the plate for the Blue Jays. Uh, there's nothing here. So 9, 10, 15, 18, and 18. It's going to be a grounder to the shortstop. <coughs> Shortstop in this game is Vizquel. Slick is all get up, and he makes the play at first. Uh, one, two, three, nothing there. So six, 10, and 14 is going to be a fly ball to center field. So two down in the inning, two quick outs for Randy Johnson. Almost a full house here, but not quite. So 10, 18, 19. 19 is going to be a grounder to third and that's going to end the inning as uh, the third baseman Mike Blowers guns it over to first and gets him by a step that's going to be no runs on no hits we go to the bottom of the sixth all tied at three Jack Moore is still on the mound for the Blue Jays uh, one two four five six nothing there so three uh, plus nine is twelve plus six is eighteen and eighteen is going to be a grounder to the shortstop. Shortstop in this game is going to be Schofield. He makes the play. Uh, we got a four of a kind. That's four fours. Four fours is going to be a double with the runner advance and no runners on base. So it doesn't matter, but a double there by Tino Martinez. <clears throat> and with Martinez at second base, Pete O'Brien is up. He uh, doubled in his last at bat, had an RBI. So fours and sixes, it's a big number here, but not anything doing. So that's 10, 25. 25 is going to be hit by pitch. So O'Brien gets on base for a second time. Nothing happening at second base. And what do we got here? We got uh, fives and threes, and that's a whole lot of nothing too. So it's be 8, 9, 12. 17. 17 is a grounder to the second baseman. Let's go ahead and roll against the double play. <clears throat> Got a three of a kind here. Uh, nothing crazy going on, so it's just going to be a double play, and that will be um, to the second baseman, I believe. Right? That's what it was. So fielder's choice here. It's out number two, and we're going to go four, six, three. And that's going to be a double play. <clears throat> so I'm playing that you need at least a two of a kind. If you get three of a kind, that's going to work as well. If you wind up getting four of a kind, uh, then I guess I should put that three of a kind too. But uh, anything two of a kind, three of a kind, you get a pair, then that's going to be a double play. So it's no runs on one hit for the Mariners. We'll go to the top of the seventh inning. It is the 93 Jays tied with the 1993 Seattle Mariners. Jays are up. Uh, it's going to be Pat Borders, Dick Schofield, and Devon White. Uh, 2, 7, what is that, 10, 12, 16. 16 is a grounder to the shortstop. This kills up to it, and that's the first out of the inning. That'll be uh, nothing going on here, so 8 plus 6 is 14, 15. 15 is going to be a little nubber out in front of the plate. <clears throat> and the catcher, Dave Vale, uh, jumps on it. Um, nothing here either. So 6, 8, 10, 15, 15. Uh, another little one right out in front of the plate. 
Catcher jumps on it. Oh, that goes up here, huh? Catcher jumps on it, and that's going to be the third out of the inning. So we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, um, and score still tied at three apiece. Two, three, four, five, six, and there you go. Uh, not only making the plays in the field, Blowers is, but he reaches back and crushes one out to left field. And so that's going to be a solo home run for Mike Blowers as he comes through in the clutch. The lead is now 4-3 for the Mariners over uh, the Blue Jays. This is 1993, by the way. Uh, four, five, six. So this is going to be a 10, 17, 21. 21 is going to be a strikeout swing. So the Mariners catcher goes down for the first out of the inning. It's going to be Rich Amaral to the plate. That's uh, three ones. So Amaral with this stroke to the left field, and the, he's on with the single. So already one in and one out and a runner at first base. Uh, Omar Vizquel to the plate. Just misses Just misses the uh, the full house here. It's going to be 12, 13, 14, 16. 16 is a grounder to the shortstop. So let's go and roll for that. <clears throat> Got two, two two of a kinds here, so that's going to be a double play. They roll them up. And the out number two, and that's an ending, ending, six, four, three. And that shuts down the inning for the Mariners, but not before they get one on the board with the home run from uh, Mike Blowers. Puts them ahead going into the top of the eighth inning over the Blue Jays. There's a, a full house. So Robert, Roberto Alomar. Uh, twos over fours, and that's going to be what? That's going to be a double left center field. So he goes the opposite way for a leadoff double. So Robbie Alomar at second with Paul Molitor up to the plate. Molitor struck out his last at bat, but he's two for three on the day. Uh, not going to get a hit this time. It's going to be 10, 22. 22 is going to be a strikeout swinging. And so he goes down for out number one. Joe Carter comes to the plate. Carter uh, hit a hot smash to third in his last at bat. Uh, he's got six here, and that's going to be a walk. <clears throat> so that's actually his second walk of the day. Uh, two walks for Carter. He's got an RBI double, so having a good game so far. Runners at first and second with one out, and it will be Darren Jackson to the plate. One, two, three, four, five. And look at that. Darren Jackson goes big fly. It's back to the wall. And four rows deep goes Darren Jackson as he deposits it into the left center field stands. And that's going to score three runs. And all of a sudden, the Blue Jays have turned the tables on the Mariners here in the eighth inning. And that's going to be uh, three, four, six two, three now, six to four, sorry, is that right? Three, four, two, three, <clears throat> six to four is the game now. Uh, and it's going to be one out, only one out so far in the inning. So 12, 14, 16, 21 is going to be a strikeout. You can see that we haven't incorporated pitching into this yet, uh, but eventually... We'll get pitching into it right now. It's just focusing on the batters and just kind of a fun little batter game. So it's going to be uh, 9, 14, 15. 15 is going to be uh, a little squibber out in front of the plate. And catcher puts that away for out number three, but not before three runs come in in the eighth inning on one, two hits. The walk was a killer there uh, to uh, Joe Carter. Allowed an extra run in. It's now uh, six, six to four as we head to the bottom of the eighth inning. This is the 93 Blue Jays at the 93 Mariners. Still time, though, uh, for the Mariners to put something together. So seven, nine, 12. 12 is going to be a fly out to right. And right fielder puts it away. One, two, four, fives. So that's going to be five, ten. Plus 6 is 16. That's going to be a grounder to the shortstop. And the shortstop, Schofield, uh, puts away King Griffey Jr. 
nothing here. So uh, four, five, six, that's all we got. Uh, so 10 plus 12 is 22. 22 is going to be a strikeout swing. And Martinez goes down for the third out of the inning. Actually, this way. And that's going to be three up and three down for the Mariners as they can't answer back after three runs in the top of the eighth from the Blue Jays. And we head to the uh, ninth inning. Blue Jays are ahead six to four uh, in the final frame. It's going to be eight, nine, 11, 16. 16 is a grounder to the shortstop. That's out number one. And what do we have? Three twos. Three twos is going to be a single to center field. So Dick Schofield gets his first hit of the day in the ninth inning. So one on and one out. And Devin White to the plates. Devon White. Not Devin White. Devon White. So that's uh, three ones. Three ones is a, a single to left field as White gets his uh, second hit of the day. And we'll just go station to station here with Schofield. No need to press it <clears throat> with the middle of the order coming up. Robbie Alomar to the plate, four, five, six, and nothing else. So that's be six, 11 plus 12 is 23. 23 is going to be a walk, and that'll load the bases in front of Paul Molitor. Okay, bases loaded, one out, and let's see what happens. Uh, fours, five, sixes. And so that's going to be 10, 25, 25 is going to be a hit by pitch. So he plunks Paul Molitor. That's a tough way to get an RBI, but that's exactly what he's going to get. So RBI from Paul Molitor as he uh, gets hit in the left shoulder and brings up Joe Carter again with one out and the base is loaded. <coughs> Three, four, five, six. Opportunity here for Joe Carter to put the game away as we're going to roll and we need a two, get a three instead. And so that's going to be a strikeout. Uh, he goes for the big swing and comes up empty. Uh, so we have uh, two down, bases loaded. Darren Jackson to the plate. He had a three run homer his last time up. Um, there's nothing there, so it's going to be 6, 10, 11, 17. That's going to be a grounder to the second baseman for the third out. And out of all that traffic, they only get one run. <laughs> Sounds like baseball, right? One, uh, two hits, one run on two hits, and they had runners all over the place. Um, but that's going to put the game at 3, 4, 5, 7 to 4. Now uh, is the lead for the Blue Jays. This is 93 Jays at the 93 Mariners. The Mariners have Pete O'Brien, Jay Buhner, and Mike Blowers coming up. Two, nothing there. Five, six, plus four is 10, plus four is 14. And that's going to be a fly ball to dead central. <clears throat> Devon White puts that away. And... Four, five, six, nothing here. Eight, 13, 14, 20. 20 is going to be a grounder to the first baseman. So sharply hit to Domingo Martinez. And he puts it away for out number two. Two down. Uh, it's last opportunity for the Mariners here. Down to their last out, Mike Blowers. Blowers draws a walk. Oh, no, he doesn't. He hits uh, sixes over twos. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, double. Down the right field line. So two bagger for Blowers as he continues his hot hitting in the game. He's three for four, two doubles and a home run. And that brings up uh, Dave Vale to the plate. So fives. That's going to be a single. Uh, and the runners get an extra base. So that runner is going to score. So what that means is there's a single. And normally the runner would only move one base on a single, but instead he's going to go two bases on a single. So he's going to score from second base is Blowers, and they cut the lead to seven to five. And uh, a bloop and a blast wins them the game. Let's see what happens. 
two, three, four, and they come up just short. So it's Rich Amaral to the plate. That's going to be 10, 12, 16, 19. 19 is going to be a grounder to the third baseman. That third baseman is Ed Sprague. Sprague goes the long way, 5-3, and that's going to be the end of the ball game. Uh, so the Mariners put up a fight in the bottom of the ninth inning, but can't get the big hit, the really big hit when they need it. Uh, but they get one run on two hits, and that's going to mean... Uh, what is it? So two, three, uh, six, seven, two, three, four, five, seven to five is our final. And how many hits? One, two, five, six, seven, nine, eleven hits for the Blue Jays. One, five, six, eight, ten hits for the Mariners. Somebody had an error in there. And I believe it was on the Mariners. Yep, right there. One error for the Mariners, no errors for the Blue Jays. So 7-5 to five is our final. <clears throat> and uh, player of the game, maybe Robbie Alomar here. Uh, he was 2 for 4. Uh, a couple of runs scored. Also, Darren Jackson had the big home run. Um Nothing really amazing going on for either team. Just some hits uh, spread out here and there. But this is uh, Yaya Baseball and New Creation, whole new game. Um, using a very familiar, um, what do you call it? A very familiar game mechanic, I guess, is what you would say. And uh, using sort of Dotsy, uh, Yahtzee rolls, but sort of modified Yahtzee rolls. And then we touched on a few of the uh, sort of the manager or managerial strategy uh, type plays didn't get a lot into tagging up or rundowns or anything like that, but um, you can see how it works. It basically works the same uh, mechanic wise uh, for any of these sections. It's just, you know, which ones do you want to employ and uh, you can play it basically with any team. <clears throat> and right now there's no differentiation between players, but you can see you get a nice game and uh, it doesn't get too out of whack. Guys at the bottom are not, uh, making all the plays, the guys at the top bar, um, and down here, you know, middle, bottom of the order is the one that came through uh, the most for the Mariners. So, uh, an interesting game. If you'd like to play, uh, you can um, email me at onbasebaseball at gmail.com, and I will send the game out to you, and you can test it for me. Um, otherwise, um, look for it to come out sometime in the future <laughs> as it gets better as it gets more uh more detail it gets a little bit more texture to the game um but i'm super excited about this one it plays really quick uh but it also has you know some really interesting you know there's a lot of detail that you can put in here that's really interesting with five dice you can do a lot all right uh if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section below i uh, will get back to them as quickly as possible if you haven't subscribe to the channel please do so and uh, click on the bell and you'll get notified anytime i put new videos out there um, you can follow on the facebook group you can follow at the delphi forums uh, on bases there and we also have three other games so on base baseball uh, quick play baseball <clears throat> and on base advance those are all uh, games that are commercially available right now uh, for you to play all right well, I think that's it from here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.